What's up y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Flying Armadillo. We're playing the full course here, par 57, 5,500 feet. Starting off with the 276 foot hole one. I'm playing the blue layout, which is the concrete pads. And these trees are grabby. That never came down. This is only about halfway down the fairway, so it still had a bunch of power on it. Got a hanging basket under this tree here to start. It's gonna pitch up and get my three. Hole two, 286 feet, par three. Basket is on a ledge, so I'm going kind of high lobster here, giving it a chance. Been to this property before, but only to play the putt putt course, which is an absolute must. And honestly, a highlight of the property, uh, hole three, 245 feet. Putt-Putt is a highlight of the property, um, but this course was really awesome. I enjoyed it a lot. It is pretty rocky, not super cart friendly. It's a little approach shot down to this green here. It's a little past the basket, putting back uphill at it, but I'd rather that than be putting downhill at it. Hole four, 309 feet. Uphill the whole way, shapes nicely for like a turnover with a mid-range, but put that one a little low, now I'm having to scramble. I brought my Rovic for this course, and it worked, but it was frustrating. I think if you're going to use a cart, a Zuka would be, you know, a pull cart is definitely much better. Out of position here, again, so I'm just pitching through this tight, tight stuff get a tap in for hole five 364 feet I'm throwing diamond back here a little high but inside on the left which is what I wanted on the green got a little bit of an obstructed putt here for a two but I'm happy with that and I sailed it Hole six, 182 feet. A little shorty going touch shot with my Eclipse Envy. And that is the shot, I pured it. I'm very happy with that. A little past the basket, easy two. Hole seven, 348 feet. Similar to hole two, but it's a little longer, so I'm going with my more stable jackalope. And it wasn't stable enough, so I'm pitching up. It's a funky little tree protecting the basket. I'm trying to scoot under it. Hole eight, 432 feet. This one, the first shot is uphill through that window. Overturned the mind bender, but got a really friendly kick back into the gap. Still a turnover shot all the way. Bullet. Probably should have thrown the mind bender again. That bullet wasn't stable enough. And this is where my third shot landed, looking back down the fairway. Hole nine, 399 feet. Thrown back towards the tower. Going with my Apex Diamondback. The one I threw earlier was the Apex Swirl, a little st more stable. Got a little bit of turn out of it. Made it around the island just barely. So I'm outside the circle pitching up. And I wish I could tell you I made that putt. <laughs> Cool little flying armadillo sculpture before you get to hole 10, 303 feet. There are a couple of low straight shots. I suppose there's a nice forehand, like forehand spike hyzer, but I'm going lobster turnover. Nice and high. I have no idea where this came down, but 
walking up to this cool protected green cool with this neat fence. fence. Around the basket. There it is. Here's the I wish I could see how it got there, but it's about to tap in too. Pretty stoked. Hole 11, 281 feet. Coming back the other way. Got a bunch of low nice. trees kind of protecting a straight shot at the basket. Taco running around playing fetch, so I'm waiting for him to run back before I make my shot. I'm going buzz here. Really happy with that. Just, you know, caught one of the trees. There's a fair amount of wind out here today, so made it a lot more challenging. Hole 12, 302 feet. Lots of over-the-top options here, but I didn't want to... It looked a little squirrely, so I'm going Eclipse Envy over everything but as low as possible. And ended up with like a 50 or 60 footer, so I could have bumped up to a mid-range. This is what the green's looking like, so you can see lots of scrubby stuff to catch your disc as it approaches the basket. Hole 13, 226 feet. I'm going Sublime Bobcat here. I really didn't need to go this overstable. The map made me think it was way down to the left, and it's only, it's pretty straight. Maybe a little down to the left, but not much. See, I'm in the shadows back here, and the basket is on the right side of the screen. And honestly, this scrubby stuff that I'm inside of probably caught my disc and kept me from going to 50 or 60 feet away from the basket. So I thought the basket was way more to the left than it actually was. Uh, hole 14, 231 feet. Nice little tunnel to throw down. Going to Clips Envy again. Didn't mean to play the crash shit down by the basket, but it ended up working nicely. Would have gone past this basket quite a bit without those trees catching it. Hole 15, 130 feet. This feels like such a gimme birdie little ace run upshot. And boy, is there a lot of stuff to catch your disc on this one. Lots of little scrubby cedar trees and Terry Miller hanging out to mess with your disc. Hole 16, 446 feet around the finishing stretch and the holes get harder. Just trying to play to the shadow up there and get almost as left as possible, but there's not a lot of good footing. I'm sure if I was maybe about 30 more feet, the footing would have been better. But having never seen this before, I'm so I went bobcat and then another bobcat. I'm off the fairway a bit. I thought I was going to get an easy four, and I, now I'm fighting for a five. Hole 17, 590 feet, far, par four. It might be one of my favorite holes on the course because there's some cool options. I end up pulling out my goat. I'm going high right. I think we had a bit of a headwind, so I was planning on the headwind keeping this goat in the air, but since it's a goat, I know it's coming back to the left. And I could see it off the tee, the camera missed it, but it just dug in. You know, full two. Full two. Just and I lose focus here on the round at hand, and I decide to get funky and go full tilt. I should have gone zone, or maybe razor claw, or bobcat or even Raptor, but I felt like I was close enough. I could try getting the tilt there. Got a friendly roll out of it, but of course it didn't go very far. But look how close I am. You know, if I would've just thrown a serious shot instead of goofing around, could've had a much easier three. Hole 18 to finish, 200 feet. You got a triple mando you gotta throw under, so no thumbers allowed. Nice little island hole. I'm just throwing a smooth, fierce shot. I don't know how that got on the island, but it just barely did. 
So super, super fun. Well worth playing the 18 hole course. And we played the putt putt after. Here's the final hole going mind bender, trying to th throw it in for a cool video for the mind bender release. Wasn't to be, but yeah, super fun. Well worth checking out. We played here while we were staying in Austin and drove, you know, the 45 minutes down to play. Well worth it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out there.